In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make vegan mayonnaise that tastes better than traditional mayonnaise. Thick, creamy, and indulgent. Let's go. So mayonnaise was first invented in the 1700s by a French chef when he was making this big dinner to celebrate beating the English in a battle. Traditional mayonnaise is egg yolks whipped up with an acid such as vinegar and some oil and that emulsifies and creates this really light, luxurious, tasty sauce that we all know and love and my vegan version is just as good, I promise you. So the first thing that we want to do is pour the soy milk into a beaker with some lemon juice and some white wine vinegar. It won't work with other non-dairy milk, so make sure you've got soy milk. So I'm gonna use my trusty ham blender for this, and that's why I've chosen to put it in a beaker. So make sure your ham blender can fit in the beaker and go right down into the soy milk. You can also use a Vitamix, something like this, as long as you can, you're able to trickle in oil as you're blending. Something like a blender that has a cup on it that's sealed won't work with this mayonnaise. You have to be able to trickle in the oil when you're making this. Submerge your stick blender into the soy milk and slowly trickle in the oil as you blend. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil today and you'll slowly start to see the mayonnaise thicken up and go nice and creamy. When it reaches your desired creaminess, stop blending and season with salt. Look at that creaminess. That is crazy. So that's the base mayonnaise done. Look at that, look at that wobble. That's crazy. So a little bit of salt in there just to season it. Okay, so let's talk about the oil that I use. I use grapeseed oil here, and you wanna choose an oil that's quite mellow in flavor. I love using a yellow rapeseed oil sometimes because that actually helps add that really beautiful yellow creamy color to uh, a mayonnaise, making it look more traditional. But today I use something quite subtle in the grapeseed oil because now I'm gonna pimp this up. I'm gonna split this mixture into two. I'm gonna make a baconaise and we're gonna make a garlic and herb. So first up, let's do the garlic and herb. So for that pizza box garlic and herb mayo, I'm gonna mince up two cloves of garlic. You wanna mint your garlic as fine as possible. Whilst you're chopping it, I recommend adding a pinch of salt. This helps grind the garlic down even more. Actually, judging on the amount of mayonnaise I have, I'm not gonna add two cloves of garlic chopped. I'm just gonna add half of it. So just dried mixed herbs going in. Give that a mix up. Just needs a little more salt, a few more herbs, and a squeeze of lemon juice, and it'll be the perfect pizza style garlic and herb mayo. So there's my garlic and herb done. I'm gonna seal this now, pop it in the fridge. That will last up to five days in the fridge. So a good amount of garlic and herb mayo for whenever you need it. So bacon A's next. Bacon A's, who'd have thought to make bacon flavored mayo? Anyway, can it be made vegan? I don't know. I'm gonna throw some of my favorite ingredients, some of my most smoky ingredients, some of my sweet tangy flavors into the mayonnaise base and see what we come up with. I think this is gonna work. Let's go. So first up into the mayonnaise, I'm gonna add a touch of maple syrup, a little bit of soy sauce, and some sweet smoked paprika. And finally, now this is an optional ingredient, but it will make your baconaise even more like baconaise. I'm gonna add some liquid smoke. This can be found at actually all good supermarkets these days. Just a few drops of this will just transform this now. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic too. Bacon's good for me. All right, let's give it a taste before I add anything else. It's a nice color though, look at that. I love the speckles of paprika running through it. All right, let's give this a taste. Wow. Woo, that is pretty amazing. I think that's actually perfect. Smoky, sweet, mapley, 
We just got that sort of stereotypical smoky, barbecuey, bacony flavor. Pretty happy with that. That's the bacon A's done. Full written recipe with all the exact quantities and everything like that is on my website. And you can click the link below to go straight to that page. Really good. That's how to make vegan mayonnaise. Simple as that. Now, will you ever go and buy mayonnaise again? I don't think you will. Look how simple it is to make it. And it's cheaper, more cost effective. You can see exactly what you're putting in there. And uh, it's fun to do too. Get creative. Make Pyrenees. Make manganese. Mango anais, make pineapple anais, make any beetroot mayo. You can make so many, you can make curry mayo. Now they're coming to me. You can make anything you want, simple. Caesar, click this link here and get to my Caesar salad recipe where I make the most amazing Caesar dressing using this mayonnaise. All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching, see you soon. And this uh, weekend, I'm gonna be posting an incredible, nourishing, healthy salad recipe to keep you fit and healthy. See you then.